Face RC. I'm Mr. Marshall and I got Josh. Josh, dude, what do you what you bring to the table today? Okay, so this is a flying RC car. So here on the for the plane we have the FT Bronco and then for the car we have the Traxxas slash Raptor. And this Bronco was scaled up. Do you remember how much we scaled up by? I think 140%. 140%. Okay, and uh, it's kind of cool because the same guy designed the FT Bronco. Yeah. And the same guy did this uh, in his own YouTube channel when he first started. It's Peter, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you came across him on YouTube channel. You mm -hmm. came to me and said, Mr. Marshall, we got to do this, especially with the little kick in the butt front. Who did you talk to? Uh, Demario, he's in uh, older videos. Uh, he helped me uh, kind of come up with this design and uh, figure out what I wanted to do with it. Yeah, so you had a lot to think about because you had the car, that was easy. Mm -hmm. But then what FT-inspired aircraft would be able to accommodate something like this and you immediately went to the Bronco which is a great choice because you had this nice open area um, for the bigger motor to, to rest um, good good surface um, uh, wing that you have here I think it's going to help out and you got the twin booms for your two big motors do you know what motors these are? Uh, not too sure so we put the big monster jet motors if you guys remember our Raptor episode that we did um, it had these two, two of these um, big, big motors on them we're hoping that I get it enough thrust with the help of this guy, which was on our old Viking video that we did. Yeah. Um, and that was a pretty, pretty cool project. So with, with it all being said, I think we're probably pulling a little over a thousand watts of total power. Um, we've got 285 amp ESCs on both the Monster Jets and an 80 amp ESC on this uh, motor in the back. And then you've got regular Metal Gear servos to run your elevator and your ailerons and you got it all planned out, right? Yep. I think this is kind of cool because you did this part. Let's show how you engineer this, this piece here. How you got the car. Okay, so what we did here was we cut out um, pieces of the shell here and in the front here. We have um, these two wood... Um, half inch booms? Yeah, half inch booms um, that come that attach to the chassis so that way we have extra support not just holding onto the shell and then um, it just slides off like this. So when we actually do our main shot you're gonna these will stay down right? Mm -hmm. So these will be uh, under or they'll come out and then this right here uh, over the shell will attach with zip ties to this part of the chassis so that way it's sturdy onto the plane um, to that way we like that way it doesn't just like fall off in midair. And, and then um, and I'm seeing something different. What'd you do? What'd you do here? So we took off the suspension in the back um, just because there's a lot of weight from the FT Bronco. So that way it was like rubbing the ground when we first tried it. So what we did is we left the suspension in the front for a better landing and better takeoff. And this for uh, to not put it down as much. Awesome, so you're gonna have full control of the car when you're driving on the ground, right? Yes, we had a, we have a second little battery to control the steering, and then uh, that'll just so that way we can uh, like get it onto the runway, take it off, and when we're landing, kind of, kind of bring it back to us. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's gonna work? I think so. <laughs> well, you wanna go test it out? Let's go. All right, let's go out and test it out. about ready to rain on us but we, we gotta do it yeah all right so you're gonna keep me straight right yep i'm the one who steers and he's the one who flies <laughs> all right good luck man all right okay. let's do this let's do it.
buddy. Good job. Oh, it has a Josh is um, Josh has been working on this for a little over seven years. Um, <laughs> just to come up with the right size plane to accommodate a full size truck. Uh, you know, one ten scale Traxxas truck is is very difficult. Yeah. Um, and then to do the first launch, and we <laughs> crashed it and <laughs> lost a motor. Um, but it. Yep. There's your motor. <laughs> the, that was the first attempt. It came and flew and crashed right there. It'll probably be on the video, but um, and this completely ripped out. So we're just like, let's try it again, and then it happened. It worked. It worked with two motors. Um, these are both Monster Jet motors, uh, along with just some big 35. Uh, low KV just turns a big prop. Uh, we used that for our Viking video, but I can't believe it worked. It, when it was in the air, it was perfectly smooth. Um, the landing was perfect. <laughs> oh, flat land, landing's good, the truck's still good. Look at shocks. <laughs> and I'm using that truck for the race. Oh <laughs> man. Good job. That was pretty awesome. That's definitely a highlight of the year. Um, everyone, give them another round. Of Awesome. Hey, make sure you subscribe, watch all these guys, all these guys do really cool products all the time. Uh, keep watching the channel, keep supporting them, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.